Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Reading Through the Bible in a Year. I'm so sorry I've gotten so far behind on this. It's just been a really, really busy week um, between doctor's appointments and for myself and for my hubby. And um, if y'all would keep him in prayer, he's on his will be on his way here after a bit to go see the results of his MRI. And we're just praying that it's um, not something he's going to have to have surgery on from where he fell out of the truck. So any and all prayers would be greatly appreciated. We um, are starting in Book of James. Here, oh boy, we're getting through the New Testament so fast. Um, I'm not going to... The Old Testament's not going to keep up. So we'll be doing a lot of Old Testament reading. But... Um, and just keep our country in prayer. Um, one of the, um, gosh, and I can't remember his, his, the name of his channel. Um, Tony, Tony something, I think it is. Anyway, he's a watcher. And, um, I really liked how he put it this morning. We all know that we're not of this world. We're just in it. Um, so basically, just sit back and watch the show is all we can do right now. Um, it's really sad what they're doing behind the scenes with all this stuff that's going on this morning. We still don't know who our president is. And I don't know. It's just, um, well, it's prophecy. You know, all these things have to happen. And it is what it is. You know, it's it's just kind of sad, but um, at my age, you know, I remember America sort of still um, when it was, a, for the most part, a moral country. I mean, it was starting to turn um, when I was in elementary school in the 60s, um, so I watched, I watched us go from basically from a God-fearing nation, which I don't know that this nation ever really was what they claimed it was. And I think from day one, it's been controlled by something that isn't our God. There's always been some kind of manipulation going on. But at least at some point... People still believed in God and still followed the, the scripture and, you know, tried to be good citizens and whatnot. Or at least they did a real good job of putting on the show. But anyway, enough of that. All we can do is just sit back and watch and let God's will be done. And that's all I've been praying for, you know. It, in my humble opinion... Um, we have two presidential candidates, one left wing, one right wing, same dirty bird. That's the way I look at it, so it doesn't really, it does matter to me be, because I think one side's got a lot more stuff that's going to hurt us in the long run than the other side, but they've both got their own agendas and none of it's good for any of us, so it really doesn't matter at this point. I'll put my faith and trust in Jesus. I don't need to put it in a man, so. Anyway, let's get off of that subject, and we'll quit discussing politics and start discussing religion. <laughs> and let's get into the into the Word here. Um, oh, and actually, um, I had a... I'm not sure yet, because I haven't gotten confirmation but I think I actually got a word from God last night and once I do get confirmation this, that this was truly for him I will share that it's nothing big major whatever it was just a sentence and it was right in that time between being asleep and being awake and it was just like a voice right in my ear so as soon as I get confirmation on that I will share the word and um I hope that was from God. I really do because I've never I've never had anything like that happen to me. So this is kind of exciting. 
to now know that um, I'm personally hearing from God too. So hope, I'm hoping that's what it was. That he'll he'll give me his confirmation in time, whenever the time's right. So anyway, everybody, here we go. We're in the book of James, chapters one and two, possibly three. We've only got five book or five verses in this. Um, Oh, five chapters in this book, so we'll get through what we can today. How much time have I wasted? Five minutes? Okay, and of course now the dog starts barking. So let me go ahead and get him in here before I start this. Instead of, because he will bark. No, I Okay, everybody, here we go. Book of James, chapter 1. James, a servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ, to the twelve tribes which were scattered abroad, greeting, My brethren, count it all joy when ye fall into diverse temptations, knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. But let patience have her perfect work, that ye may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God, that giveth to all men liberally, and upbraideth not, and it shall be given him. But let him ask in faith, nothing wavering, for he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea driven with the wind and tossed. For let not that man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Let the brother of low degree rejoice in that he is exalted, but the rich in that he is made low, because of the flower of the grass he shall pass away, because as the flower of the grass. For the sun is no sooner risen with a burning heat, but it withereth the grass, and the flower thereof falleth, and the grace of the fashion of it perisheth. So also shall the rich man fade away in his ways. Blessed is the man that endureth temptation, for when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord hath promised to them that love him. Let no man say when he is tempted, I am tempted of God, for God cannot be tempted with evil, neither tempteth he any man. But every man is tempted when he is drawn away from his own lust and enticed. Then when lust hath conceived, it bringeth forth sin, and sin... When it is finished, bringeth forth death. Do not err, my beloved brethren. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above, and cometh down from the Father of lights, with whom is no var variableness, neither sh shadow of turning. Of his own will begat he us with the word of truth, that we shall be a kind of first fruits of his creatures, Wherefore, my beloved brethren, let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, and slow to the wrath. For the wrath of man worketh not the righteousness of God. Wherefore, lay apart all filthiness and super, superfluity of naughtiness, and receive with meekness the engrafted word which is able to save your souls. But be ye doers of the word, and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. For if any be a hearer of the word, and not a doer, he is like unto a man, beholding his natural face in a glass. For he beholdeth himself, and goeth his way, and straightway forgetteth what manner of man he was. But whoso looketh into the perfect law of liberty, and continueth therein, he being not a forgetful hearer, but a doer of the work, this man shall be blessed in his deed. If any man among you seem to be righteous, and bridleth not his tongue, but deceiveth his own heart, this man's religion is in vain. Pure religion and undefiled before God and the Father is this, to visit the fatherless and widows in their affliction and to keep himself unspotted from the world. From the world. Chapter 2 My brethren, have not the faith of your Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord of glory, with, Lord of glory with respect of persons? For if there come unto your assembly a man with a gold ring, in goodly apparel, and there come in also a poor man in vile raiment, 
and ye have respect to him that weareth the gay clothing, and say unto him, Sit thou here in a good place, and say to the poor, Stand thou there, or sit here under my footstool. Are ye not then partial in yourselves, and are become judges of evil thoughts? Hearken, my beloved brethren, hath not God chosen the poor of this world, rich in faith, and heirs of the kingdom which he hath promised to them that love him? But ye have despised the poor. Do not rich men oppress you, and draw you before the judgment seats? Do not they blaspheme that worthy name by which ye are called? If ye fulfill the royal law according to the scripture, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself, ye do well. But if ye have respect to persons, ye commit sin, and are convinc convinced of the law as transgressors. For whosoever shall keep the whole law, and yet offend in one point, he is guilty of all. For he that said, Do not commit adultery, said also, Do not kill. Now if thou commit no adultery, yet if thou kill, thou art become a transgressor of the law. So speak ye, and so do, as they that shall be judged by the law of liberty. For he shall have judgment without mercy, that hath shewed no mercy, and mercy rejoiceth, rejoiceth against judgment. What doth it profit, my brethren, though a man say he hath faith and have not works? Can faith save him? If a brother or sister be naked and destitute of daily food, and one of you say unto them, Depart in peace, be ye warmed and filled, notwithstanding ye give them not those things which are needful to the body, what doth it profit? Even so, faith, if it hath not works, is dead, being alone. Yea, a man may say, Thou hast faith, and I have works. Shew me thy faith without thy works, and I will shew thee my faith by my works. Thou believest that there is one God, thou doest well. The devils also believe and tremble. But wilt thou know, O vain man, that faith worketh works is dead? But that faith without works is dead? Was not Abraham our father justified by works when he had offered Isaac his son upon the altar? Seest thou how faith works with his works, and by works was faith made perfect? And the scripture was fulfilled which saith abraham believed god and it was imputed unto him for righteousness and he was called the friend of god ye see then how that by works a man is justified and not by faith only likewise also was not rahab the harlot justified by works when she had received the messengers and had set them out another way for as the body without the spirit is dead so faith with without works is dead also well, I didn't do too well on that reading today, but <clears throat> I know that y'all get the gist of it. I'm so happy you stopped by to have a listen. Everyone have a very blessed day today, and we'll see you next time. Be kind to one another.